another run today, boys, and a little bit of a another build update. We're headed up to Barry, pick up some tires for the boys. Once again, we got some motors piling up, so this will be my first run in the diesel, which I'm kind of excited for. You might be right about that pedal commander, Raj. I was watching some videos on it. I told him you guys the players loved it. Yeah. Yeah, the reviews I saw on it were pretty good, so it probably could make that much of a difference on the next three. Well, yeah, ATV, buddy. So what about fuel strokes? And the black and red. Is that red and how is that? Is that strokes? No. That's a stroke. That's a stroke. Yeah. Well, that's sharp as hell, man. Holy crap. I actually got a really good deal on it. Really? Okay. Yeah, those look wild. You like that? Oh, yeah, bud. And we're back, boys, at the old shop. Oh, Jay, what do you got? What do you got, bud? Look at this. Look at uh, this. Parts. Oh, we got parts, shit. man. We got straight up from uh, your buddy there at Gorilla Power Coating, eh? Yes, sir. Oh, he does nice work, though. Look at that. Uh, threw a little bit of gray in. That's really nice. Jeez. Check out these tie rods, boys. They're beautiful. Oh, they're really wild. That'll get you the clearance you need. Trailing arms. Be careful with that box, Jerry. He's got her all plugged full of... Yeah, we don't want to scratch none. Oh. All right, that's all right. The boys will get to see him here soon enough. Did we order new bearings for up top? I did. Oh, you could bend. Did I show you guys the tires yet? Check these out. Look at these badass Havocs. This is going to be insane. Can you believe we're about to slap these onto a Renegade? I can't. I can't. This is going to be insane. Oh my God, look at the girth. How wide are these? Nine and a half. They're wider than nine and a half, bud. Holy shit, they look closer to a 12. Wow, I'll put a tape up against them. I have a feeling they're going to be 11 inches wide at least, right? Oh, look at this combo. That's nice. Sharp. Ooh, I like that gunmetal finish. That's a cool combo, too. Blackwater's but. Upon first inspection, they look good, eh? They look real good. Yeah, they do. So yeah, this is why the new rear swing arms, because of this plate being attached with the swing arm. So unfortunately, when you're doing this setup, you're gonna end up with an extra set of swing arms because you have to have the Super ATV six inch lift, which includes swing arms. But then when you do your portal lift, it includes swing arms. So. Jerry's got all kinds of extra swing arms to sell. If you're interested, guys, hit him up. Back 40 ATV. <laughs> we gotta get some money back. This thing's costing a fortune. Man, oh man. Some uh, changes to the wrap, or actually additions, as in a wrap. Still got a few more panels we'll probably go ahead with. That looks nice, Jerry. Nice. Digging the Super ATV. All right, boys, we'll be back here shortly. We're going to start popping out some of these garage product bushings. We want to reuse all that. Comes with a lifetime warranty, so why the hell wouldn't you? You can't get better than that. Um, Rob's going to pop out some ball joints for us. We're going to have to reuse our uppers and lowers. We do have new bearings. 
and new swing arm bearings to go up in the top of these bad boys because they're just not fun to try to reuse so here's a kick-ass set of stretched s3 power sports that's your rear stretched arms for a 16 to 18 renegade you can use them on uh the 19 2021 but you're going to get into replacing axles for length uh tie rod stuff like that so you got to basically convert your suspension back to a 2018 but uh still super killer upgrade for anybody with a 16 17 19. get a hold of jerry man you get a wicked deal on some s3 arms actually i like to take them <laughs> sweet all right boys we'll be back oh those are pretty nice man These are my stalkers. God, they're ugly, eh? Yeah, buddy. Bon Jovi. Coming along, boys. Check out these freaking rear swing arms for the portals. Those things are beefy, sick. We have run into some issues with the brake lines because they just don't have enough splits in the uh, junction, which is somewhere around here. Probably back up on the machine, but. We're gonna rig up another fitting and uh, split off of it, and I should basically get us back in action. But brake lines definitely set us back in the way. But uh, the back is going in place here pretty quick. Hold on, hold on. We're almost there. Is it on? That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I don't go on your trailer, you just got a duck. Holy shit, Jerry. Dude, the thing is, once we get the front high enough, you need a step to get up there. Once we get the front high enough. We just need a winch front up now, that's all. This is, when I stand walking in my trailer, I stop the door. Yeah, the, the rad relocate's gonna be over your head, Jerry. So. It should be right about level with your top of your melon. No, it'll be higher. It it's gonna be higher, bud. It won't go in my enclosed trailer. When I walk in like this, the top touches my the, of the door, the door frame. It's gonna be tight. Touches my head. It's it will be tight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Wow. Yeah, wow's well, right. We're gonna have to wrap the rest of this up in the morning, though, boys. It's been a long night. Look at that. That dick. All right, battery's dying anyways. Yeah. We'll be back. I'll take some pictures too, boys. Hold on, boys.
in the swamp back oh. there. It'll straddle that swamp, that ditch. It is friggin' wide. It's gonna be wide in the trails. just start peeling back on the edges you got two pieces that are rubbing together that's all i was worried it was your belt but it's not it's definitely heat shield so jerry everybody from back 40 atv he's welcomed us down to do a, a bit more work on the old renegade so check this thing out boys ridiculous so we got the uh the six inch portal lift going on with the six inch super atv lift and uh she's turned out pretty wicked just look at it look at it this side here what a monster man there was a lot of back and forth one step forward two steps back first time we've done this kind of install so i mean this is to be expected right so you kind of learn as you go but good help from the boys and uh two days of good work and honor man uh there was a few things i wasn't expecting right like i didn't think i was gonna have to rerun all the brake lines but i guess i should just be thinking hey stupid but uh stupid i am you know but I'm pretty impressed with it. She's turned out wild. I just tried her for a little bit. And with that 45% gear reduction, I don't think he's going to have any problems spinning the big ass tires. So pretty stoked, man. All in all, pretty damn stoked. What a killer looking rig. Will you check that out, eh? Wicked. We should do a live. Let's do a live. There's still sand from that big water running the Sand and gravel. Yeah, I'm fair, boy. <laughs> 